<laughs> oh, hi. Good morning. How are you? I hope all is well in your world. Everything's great over here. Welcome to the replay viewers. Welcome to the live viewers. About to make a call back. Somebody just um text me back on the system over here saying that uh they want me to give them a call. What up, what up, what up, Nick? I see you, I see you. Happy Thursday to you. Today Thursday? Because you know seven days from today is my born day. Hey, we gotta get a cake. Lucky Libra's in the house. 1017, baby. Hope you're all doing well. Yeah, I'm about to call this guy back. He sent me a text and said, uh, hey, Chris, call me back. And I'm like, oh, wow. Well, I need to call him back. Hope you want to sell his house because he's actually on a pre-foreclosure list. That's what I was just trying to pull up and see what other kind of information I could do. What's up, Andrea? What up, what up, what up? How you doing at work wishing I was you? Oh, you don't want to be me, man. I be doing all kind of stuff. I got stuff going on. I just pulled a couple new lists I'm about to uh, hit today, too. Matter of fact, let me see something. Okay. Yeah, I just pulled some uh, expired listings. We're going to go after a couple of those. But uh, I'm about to call this guy back. He texts me. Let's see what he said. I hope you're having a great day. Happy early birthday. Oh, why, thank you. Lucky Libra's in the house. You know what I mean? 1017, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, this guy here, actually, he looks like he's in bankruptcy already. Because I haven't spoken to this person, but I guess, uh, so basically this went out as a uh, ringless voicemail. So I guess he heard my voicemail saying, hi, this is Chris. Don't know if you want to sell your house or not, but if you do, call me back or whatever the message say. And so he didn't call back, he just texted back. And uh, I don't know if this went out a couple days ago or when, but nevertheless, his auction date appears to be today. But he probably got it stopped. Let me let you see what it looked like. It's silly. Why they wait till the day of the auction and say, oh, yeah, can you call me um, at the last minute? Yeah, I guess I can. Let's see here. Yeah, let's say auction date is 10-10. Ain't that today? At 12 noon. And they want me to call him now? And it's a trustee sale, so it already got the, uh, yeah, I'm not going to text him. I'm going to call him. <laughs> so you better text that man quick, right? It looked like he already did bankruptcy because see over here, it's got a bankruptcy thing already done. And the recording date was, uh, looked like two days ago. So it looked like he already filed bankruptcy to stop the sale. Because, you know, that's one of the ways to stop it. This property even has some liens on it. What is this? Oh, it's a small lien, only $622. So that's the thing about information. You want to know data. Even though I'm going to ask him all of this stuff anyway. I kind of go into the conversation kind of knowing what I'm running into, I hope. That man needs some help. You're right. So I'm about to get him on the phone and see. He he texts me back like he knew me, like, hey, Chris, give me a call. This is me. Yeah, like, huh? Who the heck is this? What's wrong with my computer over here? My other monitor. Stuff going on. So, yeah, I'm finna call him back and see. Finna. Is Finna a word fixing to? I'm finna call him back. Let me see what he said here. Yeah, this is the message that he did. But you see what he sent me this about 20 minutes ago. He said, hey, hey, Chris, this is Andre. Call me when you can. I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll call you when I can. I guess I'll call you right now. But I wanted to see what he was talking about because I, I never spoke to this guy. So I don't know. Let me see. Maybe the one of my VAs talked to him. Let me double check. I don't like going to these deals blind. I want to know what's going on. Being prepared is half the battle. So you always want to be prepared when you're about to go in and, and uh, go to combat. So let's see if we can get him on the phone. Real estate, old school. What's up? How you doing? What's up, Kelvin? What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. So let's see if I can get him on this phone real quick. Mr. Andre. Was that his name? Andre. Record the call for quality and training purposes. And let's see what he's talking about. See if we can stop his house from going to foreclosure. Being prepared is half the battle. That's right. One to connect to three. Hey, Andre, do I sound happy or do I sound sad? Hi, I'm just calling. If he answers. It's only been 20 minutes, man. Yeah. 
You have reached the voice mailbox of three one. Call him back in a second. I really don't want him calling in because the way my systems are set up, it might go to my VA, it might go to somebody else. I want to talk to him myself. I mean, they can talk to him. In fact, nobody spoke to him yet because they can gather the basic information. But I was going to do it right now, live on the phone, just for you. But if he don't answer, I don't know what else to do. Give him about 30 more seconds and we'll bang him again. I know he knows it's me because I'm calling from the same number he called me from. So, And it's in a part of town I really don't want to buy a house in, but we'll see what we can do. I don't really want any more houses in Berkeley because they give you so much runaround with permits and occupancy permits and all this stuff. It's just drama over there. I already have a house over there. So I'm really not looking forward to buying this house, but we'll see if we can save the day. And, this, and then they even have a rule in this area. You have to be grandfathered in to even have a rental in the area. How about that? That you can't have all rentals on the same street, like so many rentals per block or something. I don't know, some funky rules. But you have to uh, be grandfathered in to say that you can even have a rental. That's crazy, ain't it? That's when they're doing too much government red tape. Too much. Let's try to see if I can get them again. Am I even calling the right number? Yeah, I guess I am. I can't call the wrong number. Yeah, that's parts of St. Louis County for you. All kind of funky rules. He might not answer. Might have to call this other guy. I got some other people that have been trying to get back with me. And I can easily reach them, see what they're talking about, because they're getting motivated. When they when they blowing you, the voice mail box of. when they blowing you up, they getting motivated for real. I should have left my number to call them back on my direct line, because I got so many moving parts and stuff. I'll be trying to make this stuff work out. Let me see if I can reach this other guy, since he ain't answering. They probably locked him up for not selling. A matter of fact, let me see. I might be able to see what this house looks like. Uh, let's see here. He don't want to answer. I can't save him, I guess, huh? It was only 20 minutes ago. Did I take too long? Did he sell it that quick? No. <laughs> no, he didn't sell it that quick. I don't think so. All right. Let's see who else we got here on the chopping block. Let's pull up my call rail system that records all calls for quality and training purposes. Uh, yes, I do use Podio, and I have quite a list of people in here to follow up with, but I don't know. I don't be motivated to just uh, talk to so many people. I only want to talk to them when they're really ready to go. I don't know. Is that picky of me? I let my virtual assistants do all that basic stuff and talk to them and get the basic information. When I get on the phone with them, I'm ready to close them. I'm ready to lock them up. I don't want to be doing all that small talk, you know. Maybe that's my uh, personality or something. They say uh, extroverts aren't that good at this for some reason because introverts can sit back and be compassionate. I have, like, very little compassion. I'm working on it. It's a struggle. I got to fake it. Oh, your dog died. I got to act like I care. Oh, the puppy didn't make it across the street. Oh, whatever, you know. But I'm getting better at it, I think. I hope. So let's see here. What do I got? Let's get this guy on the phone. This other guy that been bugging me, he, I think he has two houses. Two houses. Oh, I got another lead in, too, today that I just noticed. Oh, wow. A lady that I offered $2,500 on her house, she said it was too low. Now she just texted me back and said, is, um, is that $2,500 still on the table? That's crazy. See, let me let you see this. This is kind of crazy stuff. You throw a low ball offer, and then they come back. Let's see here. So this was from last week. Let's see here. She said another deal. Let me see. I said we would probably be around the 2500 mark as we would probably have to demolish and rebuild new. She said, can you make it five? Hey, another deal is open up for me. I can take 4500 for it on that property if you can close by October 31st. Oh, we still got some time, huh? So that's why she's coming up. Say the most we can do is 2500 to pay the closing costs. Thanks. You like that offer? That's just bold. The most we can do and pay the closing costs. Because I really don't want the house. You got to always be the non reluctant buyer. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Low as I can go is four. And now she just popped up, looked like last night at 7 18 p.m. Hey, do you think you can still do that 2500 <laughs> So you got to stick to your guns when you, when you don't want the house, because I don't want it. 
even though this is a, uh, it's not something I would take down myself. This would definitely be a wholesale deal because uh, it's over in, in a kind of rough part. So um, it would have to probably either be demolished or something. I mean, I don't even know if I can get somebody to buy it for five grand. I don't even know. I mean, that's all I would do is try to put it right back out. So she came right on back and said, is that 2500 still on the table? Should I call her back? What do you think? Because she sound motivated. I should say, yeah, I can call you. I can do the 2500 if you let me close by Thanksgiving. How about that? See, I like leverage. I like to play the game because I really don't want the house. And all I'm going to do is try to find a buyer for it. And I ain't going to make that much on it. We're talking a couple thousand dollars, if that. Like, I mean, I don't even know if I can do it. You say, call her, call her. She's motivated. Oh, man. Let me see. I don't even know if I got her sheet. Too many sheets. Too many Too many deals you're working on. I don't even know what I did with her paperwork. Because I thought she was gone. She popped back up last night. Can you still do $2,500? Should I do the $2,500? That might be too high. That's a cheap property, ain't it? So can you buy houses that cheap in your neck of the woods? I mean, it is a full good job. It needs about maybe... 30 or something thousand dollars depending on what kind of stuff but it's a rental area you would fix it up just for a buy and hold such as section 8 something like that i don't know where her sheet went if i can't find it i can't call her got all these other people to talk to so many people it's crazy what's up shaq shaquille not o'neal what's up how you doing today what did i do with her paper then i got another lady they bugging me more than I'm bugging them. But uh, I got to take this low ball off or they want to deal with me. What's a good zip code in the STL? Well, what you define as good. I can give you the hottest zip codes because a uh, good can be, you know, good as any of them where I can make some money at. I don't care. But a hot zip code would be 63114, 63136. Uh, and there's a couple of others. Those are the ones with high volumes of cash transactions. Are you using text magic or sly broadcast? I have never used sly broadcast. I do use text magic. I have used text magic. In fact, I don't have anything going out on text magic this week. Got to get my VAs on the ball. Say, keep something going out on this stuff. Keep them leads popping, even though I can't keep up with them. I got more leads than I can manage. Is that a good problem to have? More leads than I can even call back. I got a stack of them right here. So I'm going to try to call this lady since she texted me recently. And I don't know where her sheet is. Her sheet went. Guess I have to make her a new one. I, I do remember that the house was in the hood. It came in off of our website. So that's where this lead originally came from. Um, she wanted, originally I think she said she wanted like 20000 or something. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. And I ain't even seen this house, by the way. I don't need to see it. It's vacant. It's boarded up. It's been vacant for I don't know how long. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find some information on this house again. Because I don't know where her sheet is because it had everything wrote on it. Matter of fact, it should be in the podio system. Duh. Pody no. Look in your pody no. Let's see here. Podio system. It's only good to keep everything. Swing some this way. You, know, uh, you want some? Here, I'm going to give you the number. Go ahead and call them up and see what you can do with it. <laughs> See if you can create a deal. See, you got to create. That's why I like creative real estate. You create a deal. See, most people look at it like, oh, it's just a house. or oh. See, I got several ways to buy your house. You may not like this one or you may not like that one, but you will like this other one. If you really want to sell. Because I really don't want your house. Uh-oh. Oh, he's calling back or texting back. Oh, that's the dude I just called a second ago. See, but my VA is going to end up answering it. I didn't want him to do that. I wanted to speak to him. Uh, they just love to mess my day up. Let me see something here. Did she answer it? Yep, she's on the phone with him right now. So I guess she's going to gather the basic information about this call. And I uh, hope I can just call him right back. And uh, try to close the deal. Terms, that's right. Cash isn't king. Terms is king when it comes to real estate. Terms. I love terms. And you want you want to know what great terms are? Little or nothing down, preferably nothing down. Great low monthly payment, low, 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 five hundred a month, three hundred a month, and you can rent it for a thousand a month, stuff like that. Low monthly payment and a long time, forever, thirty year mortgage. Let me get no money down, low monthly payment for a long period of time. How many of them do you need before you're out of a job? 
Not many. Passive cash flow. Say you got a house that your mortgage is 300 bucks a month. Low number, just for instance. 300 bucks a month. You rent it for 1000 bucks a month. You get $700 passive cash flow each and every month until the cows come home. How can you lose on something like that? Even though I don't have a deal like that. But say you come across one like that. Crazy. Is the 2K house a full gut? Yeah, it's a full gut. It's a full gut job. I haven't seen it. I'm assuming it's a full gut slash demo. Demolish it, rebuild it. But these houses in this area are all brick houses, so you really don't have to demolish them. Most of the time, you can just, you know, fix up the inside and be good. But it's been vacant for quite a while. Um, let's get her on the phone real quick. Let's see if we can get her. See, I know y'all like, get on the phone with somebody. You yakking over here. Yak, 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 yak. You be yakking. Yak to some sellers. Let's see what Miss Kim is talking about. Uh, I don't even have her address. That's bad. I don't have any of her information. I have to go get it off of the thing. But I'll just call her back and see how she's feeling since she says she wants to do this $2,500 deal. Let's get her on the phone. Please press 1 to connect to 615-686. 615 area code. She from out of town. Should be an easy closing if I want to take it. Should be. I really wanted to get that pre foreclosure guy on because he got problems, and that's the stuff I like the problems. Problems. Give me some problems. Oh, she can't answer, so I guess she'll call back too. I guess I should have just left a message, but it don't matter. I could send her a text back, that's always an option. Let me see, is my VA still on the phone with him? Nope, she already off the phone with him. She didn't even answer the phone. What am I talking about? I thought she answered. She didn't answer that phone. Let's call Mr. What's his name? Andre back. Let's see what he's talking about. The pre-foreclosure. Then I got a contractor looking at some other house over here. One second. Let me text this other person, then I hope I can get on the phone. And they're probably going to call while I'm on the phone. Okay. Um, Andre. Let's get him on the phone. Call this customer, record the call for quality and training purposes, and place the call. I thought my VA answered. Why she ain't answering that phone? Whooping time. Whooping time. You ain't answering? That's a whooping. Please press 1 to connect to 3 months. Hey, Andre, how are ya? No, I'm not going to sound happy. Sad. Calm down. Professional voice. Hi, yes, yeah, um. If you ever answer the phone. Come on, man. Answer the damn phone. There's no way. How you gonna call me? I'll call you back and then you can't answer. I don't want him to call me because I don't want it to go to my VA. Dang! Do I gotta turn off the VA line to make it? No, I can't do that because then I'll be taking some calls that I don't want to take, which is initial calls. I let them take all that stuff. All the brunt of, why you calling me? Why you got my number? Lose my number? All that cussing out stuff. Let them take all the brunt of that. Is that mean? <laughs> let me try to call him again. Quickly. Come on, answer this time, man. We playing phone tag and I plan on winning, baby. Answer, 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 answer. Answer, 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 answer. Hello? Hey, yes, uh, Andre? Yeah, this is Chris. How are you today? I'm doing fine. How about yourself? Good, good. I got your text to say give you a call. Uh, were you thinking about selling your house? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. As soon as possible. As soon as Oh, wow. You said as soon as possible. Um, You have a moment to talk about it now? Yes, I'm talking. Okay, perfect. So what's going on with it? 
So you're saying you're in Chapter 7 bankruptcy right now? Chapter 7, I was. Okay. Hey, Mr. Chris. Yes, hey, how are you? I'm good, and this is his wife. Oh, what's your name? My name is Tamika. Okay, great. Great to talk to you. So, so what's going on here? Okay, um, so um, actually now we're in pre-foreclose. Um, our chapter back, uh, bankruptcy had closed. So do you have an actual auction date for your house already? No. So no auction date? No. Okay. No. And so... Not, not yet. No letters. Have you seen yet? You haven't even seen the date on the so, Yeah, I know this is probably like the month. It's not a whole... Yeah, it, we're supposed to actually be going into... Okay. And so in, in regards to the mortgage, uh, did they give you a reinstatement amount to bring your loan due? Or, or bring it back current? Nineteen thousand to bring your loan current, so you, so it's behind yeah. quite a bit. So it's behind the whole nineteen. Yeah. So that's about right because it was, when we had uh, the bankruptcy, they wasn't even paying pan for the mortgage. Oh so wow! We all of this out. Yeah, we found all of this out uh, at the end of bankruptcy. They stopped paying paying our loan a long time ago. Okay, so. Right, right. Okay, so in regards to the house, is this a house you're actually living in, or is it uh, empty now? What's the deal with the house? It's actually a house we're living in now. So, owner-occupied. Yes. Okay. And it's just, I just really don't want that store closed on our credit. So, I'd rather try to sell it, if I can, before we actually go into the actual store closed. About how much is still owed on the loan balance? Uh, what is it, 74? Yeah. Oh wow! So you've been there quite yeah. a while. So seventy four thousand, and then what is the monthly payment that you pay, that you're supposed to pay every month? Seven eighty four. Seven eighty four, and does that include P I T I principal, interest, mm-hmm. taxes, and insurance? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. So seven eighty four. So how did they get it up to be nineteen thousand behind? Is it over a year back, or what? Where did they get the uh, big amount from? Because I say nineteen thousand is quite a bit, and that means you have to be like what that's, a year and a half. A, yeah, that's, that's more than just a year. Yeah, that's a long time. Well, you know they throw a lot of fees on there too. You know that they, they throw fees and attorney fees and okay, all types of stuff okay. on there. Yeah. Okay, so what what would be the best case scenario for you all? Like, what what can I do to help to make it um, the best case scenario for you in your eyes? Um, so my thing is, I just, I really want to try to sell it before the actual door closes. I know we have, I know we can sell all the way up until like the auction date or before the date take it back or something like that. If that's correct or I'm wrong about that. No, you're correct. Uh, what bank okay. is it that you're dealing with? Uh, first mortgage. First mortgage? Yeah, is that the bank we deal with, right? First mortgage. Yeah, first mortgage. Is that the only mortgage on it, or is there two loans on this house? No, that's the only mortgage on it. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then in regards to the condition of the house, does it need any repairs or anything that you're aware of? Um, no. Yeah, everything is... Yeah, it's nothing. If you see the home, you'll be like, really? Why would you sell this? But it's a really nice house, so... It's no damage. Um, when we first bought the house, um, we literally gutted the whole house out, new plumbing, new everything. So. Oh wow! And so, how, right. how many bedrooms and bathrooms is it there? It's two bedrooms. Three bedrooms. Oh, three bedrooms and two baths. 
three bed and two bath. Okay. And so you said you've been there about three years. And so uh, if you do have a place to move to, if we're able to do every, do something to actually buy the house, you have a place to go to already and everything? Yes. Okay. Um, and have you been in contact with the bank to actually know what their uh, status is? Because, you know, they can do stuff and not tell you, and you may not know what's going on with the loan. Uh, have you been in contact with the bank? No, we haven't. I think the last time we talked to the bank, they were trying to figure out the bank for a thing. Okay. And so... Okay, and so you actually, um, so you filed bankruptcy, you did that just to stop the foreclosure, or that was just a bankruptcy you had to do because of other reasons? Yeah, we did bankruptcy last year, yeah, for foreclosures, so that was the reason why we filed bankruptcy last year. Okay, okay, and so, um, you say it doesn't need any repairs, really, um, you have a place to move and everything. You were able to work everything out. Um, what I would like to do in this case, in reality, I think I need to see what the bank says because I don't know if, if these numbers are making sense. You know what I mean? And so what we do for well, something yeah, like that. Oh, you do I have it. I in front of me. So. so it does say you yeah. owe about 19000 to catch the loan up? Yes, that is right. 19000 to catch the loan up. Wow. And so what have you tried so far? You said He said something about a short sale earlier. Did you try to do a short sale to negotiate a short sale with them? No, we haven't uh, decided to do that with them. Okay. Uh, I don't know too much about a short sale. Right, right. Well, I can understand that. Uh, you know. Uh, I know they will accept the short sale before letting it go into the bank bank foreclosure. So... So is there an actual hardship or something? What is it that made you all stop making the monthly payment? So the heart of the, the very first time uh, we had job issues, and now we're bumping into job issues again, uh, he's on strike from GM, so... Oh, so you're on strike. Okay. So, yeah, you may actually qualify for a short sale. It's possible. You know, it just we have to get – when you do a short sale, I will let you know, they do require a lot of documents. They want to see bank statements. They want to make sure you can't make the payment. You know, they want to have proof that you actually cannot make this mortgage payment. You are aware of that, correct? Right, right. Okay. Which we have that proof. Well, sure. Did they – how are they going to be able to send you that last check? Yeah, we probably won't be able to do that because Okay, so and so you said they didn't give you an auction date. I just pulled up online here. I mean let me make sure I have the right address. It's sixty five thirteen. That's the correct number on the, the street there. Yes. Okay, they say here you have an auction date of ten ten. Looks like today at twelve noon. Are you aware of that? No. Yeah, there's actually um, a trustee that's been assigned to it, South Law PC, I guess some uh, attorney's office here in St. Louis. Um, they have somebody there. I don't know if it's easier to either contact the bank or either contact this attorney because it looks like they have you on an auction for today. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't... So that's why I was saying it's probably best to contact the bank to see what they're actually saying. You know what I mean? So you can actually know the current mm -hmm. status, like as of today, not necessarily papers, because, you know, they can change on a, you know, all they need is to give is 21-day notice. They have to give a 21-day notice by, you know, state statute to say when they're going to have an auction. And they have this set to go to auction today at 12 noon. So they have to have state, you know, so state law, they have to give you only 21 days, right? A public notice, and that's what I'm looking at now. The public notice to say auction date is ten oh, ten. Public notice. Yeah, because that's we find a lot of these uh, real estate deals on notice like this, and it's public information. It's not like you know people can hide it or anything. It's they put it out in the newspaper and things like that to say that yeah, this house will be sold at auction on this date if we don't get our money, basically. Oh, okay. So, so pretty much at this at this point, it's just. Uh, what, 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 what I would say is contact uh, your bank, one, and if not, I can give you this phone number here uh, for this for this attorney's office that's actually the trustee on your account. Okay. Uh, you have a pen? Yes, I'm ready. 314-655-7001. 
and that's South Law PC. I guess that's an attorney's office. So just tell them your name okay. and your address, and they'll tell you if this is supposed to be on an auction for today. If they give you any kind of runaround or any kind of confusion, um, I would say I'll, I'll give you my number as well, my direct line, where you can just reach me direct so I can help you with this if I need to. Okay. 31, that's my direct line. You can call me back on that number. If they give you any kind of pushback or if you're not getting any uh, results, I would say call that attorney's office because they're the trustee that's representing the bank. And if they give you too much problem, contact the bank and see exactly what's going on with that. So if you can see if it's possible to actually stop the sale, what can be done to stop the sale. Okay. Because that's, that looks like that's what you're at at this point. If this is accurate, okay. you know, that's what they put out. I don't know if that's what they're going to do. Sometimes they can push it out a couple of weeks or something if they're working with you. But I would say they definitely need to be contacted immediately. Okay. And what exactly do you do? What I do is we buy houses for cash in any condition, regardless of how much you owe. We specialize in short sales. Uh, we do uh, creative deals where we actually take over payments for people. We do a little bit of everything. We actually try to solve the problem for you. Um, it's just that this is such a short notice. It's like imminent that you actually get on the phone with them like ASAP and see what's the deal with this. Because uh, like I said, it looks like they have this set to go to auction at 12 noon today. Uh, and I, it looks like downtown or somewhere. I don't know where to. No, it's not downtown. Let's see, they don't say on here where the auction is, but from what I see, that says notice of a sale uh, for today, 10-10. Okay. All right, if you have any problem, give me a call back. Like I said, my name is Chris, and I'm here to help you out, all right? Okay, thank you, Chris. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. You know, call me an hour or two out from an auction. When you know you was in foreclosure, they went into foreclosure to stop the sale, wait to the day of the sale, call me up, and then want me to save the day with a cape on. Only thing you can do to stop it is to go file a uh, bankruptcy, but they already did that. I don't even know if you can go do that back to back. I meant to ask her what was the status of that bankruptcy. I didn't ask her that question. You see how many questions you got to ask when you start dealing with these pre-foreclosures and all these moving parts and swiggle and biggle and diggle. Thanks for those hearts, by the way. I appreciate that. So what do you think about that call? I mean, what can be done to save her at this point or him? It's really him. His name is on there. Let me see. Is his name the only one on the house? Yeah. And uh, she said they owe 74 Yeah, that's probably, I don't know. That's ain't kind of low. See, I'm going to let you see what I'm looking at here. They closed the bankruptcy. So was it discharged or what happened? So this is the original loan amount information here. And if you want to get information like this on any house, go to wokesource.com. I didn't put that in here. Hold on. Let me put this in. Boom. Wokesource.com. And let me pin it. If you want to get access to information like this on people. So this is their mortgage information. They had a mortgage back in uh, May 18, 2017, two years ago. She said three years. Here's the pre-foreclosure information I was just looking at. It says auction date 10-10 of 2019 at 12 noon. So that's today at 12 noon. You want me to stop and try to save the day? I gave her the information for the trustee. That's the information I gave her here. Let's try to help her out. Send her in the right direction. They got a lien on here for... Um, what is this? A sewer? A $600 lien, small lien. They had a bankruptcy, like I said. All of that information there, bankruptcy. So look at all the information you get. You can actually run comps. The a house sold nearby for about 83000 And they say they owe seventy four. so we might be able to do something. Uh, it tells the tax information, the mortgage information, transaction history. Let's see here. They bought it from Treetop Investments. These are all the people who owned it before them, or a few of the people. And they bought it. They bought this house for one hundred and twenty. Golly! So they must have put a big down payment down or something. And uh, so yeah, that's that. Let me see. It's some pictures on here, but they're not really that good. Show the outside of the property. So that's the situation with this house. And uh, I don't know. It's crazy. I don't think I can save them though, unless they can do something to stop that sale. I mean, I I'm pretty good, but uh, you can't call me an hour before the sale and want me to jump through hoops. Cause look at it. That's two hours out. So let me go back and see if we had any questions on here. Because I know I was talking to her and a lot of people was chiming in. So let's see here what we got here. Let me scroll back. Scroll back. What's up? Uh, who else we got here? The vocal docker joined us. Okay, okay. I see you, Stephanie. All right, this is what he says. So valuable to put into action. Being prepared is half the battle. Did you know once he said that fact or he is now not the enemy? Exactly. Uh, let's see. They still have a certain amount of days after the auction to sell. Well, mm, with a bank sale, it's a little different. 
I'm not necessarily sure. Maybe. I think they do have a redemption period, but, you know, when, once they go to sale, you're dealing with the bank back on the day of the auction and want me to save them. Come on, man. I'm pretty good, but I ain't that good. Hope this video helped you out. I'm about to get up out of here and do some more woke stuff because I think we've been on here long enough. Let's see. Is that going forward? WokeRealEstate.com is the website you want to hit up if you need contracts, cool gear, or coaching. WokeRealEstate.com. Hit that up. And don't forget to join the free Facebook group, Woke Real Estate Investors, on Facebook. Um, and I'm on the YouTube, at Chris Monroe STL. We did a great live stream last night talking about how to make a deal with a house that's listed on the MLS with an agent. Go check out the replay on that. That was a good video. Dropped a lot of nuggets in there. Nugget game strong. We dropping boulders of nuggets. Not even nuggets no more. Not chicken nuggets. Not Waffle House nuggets or whoever else selling nuggets. We selling big nuggets and dropping them. We ain't even selling them. We giving them away for free. So go ahead and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me here if you're not following me here already. Share this out. You know, you can push that little share button and share this to somebody else and, and let them check this video out. Share it out. That would be great of you. Share it out. Like it. All the good stuff. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Peace out, family.